In this lesson, we do our two digits of fraction using the borrow and pay back method. Examples. The first one there, 74 minus 19. So let's bring some working out space and write down that question again. Starting with our units column, our ones column, 4 minus 9. Well, we can't do that. So let's think of the 4. We need to make that a 14 by borrowing 1 and we pay back the 1 down there. So what have we got? We've got 14 minus 9, and that is 5. We've got 7 at the top. Now the 1 and the 1 is 2 down the bottom, so we've got 7 minus 2, and that's 5 as well. So our answer there is 55. Terrific. The next one, 62 minus 45. Well, let's rewrite the question there. We have 2 minus 5. Mm, can't do that. We look at the 2. We need to borrow 1 and pay back 1. So up the top there, that's now 12. We've got 12 minus the 5, and that's 7. Then we've got 6 up there, and 4 and 1 down there is 5. So 6 minus the 5 is 1. So our answer there, 17. The next one, 80 minus 57. Let's rewrite the question, starting in our 1's column. 0 minus 7, hmm, can't do that. So let's think of the 0. We need to borrow 1 and pay back 1. So now we have 10 minus 7, which is 3. And 8 minus, okay, 5 and 1 is 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. So our answer there is 23. In this lesson, we take a look at a method called splitting. We think of the number 32, we could split that up as 30 plus 2. 24 could be split up as 20 plus 4. And 61 could be split. In this lesson, we do some work on bridging the decades. Let's think of a number line. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, etc. When we talk about decades, normally say decade is 10 years. But decades can... Re 